Medical Advisory Board member of the Solidarity Doctors Network. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us here on the program today. Um, now, after spending much of the last two, three years talking about COVID-19, it worries me and I'm sure many others of another possible outbreak of a virus that could potentially be hard to get under control. How serious should we be taking the Marburg virus? Yes, um, a good afternoon. We should take this very seriously. This is a highly, highly infectious uh, viral disease. It's got a case fatality rate, anything between 23 to um, 90%. There are no treatment. We try to treat pe uh, patients symptomatically. Very important also, the, 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 the clinical symptoms are, especially in the beginning, very difficult. Um, to uh, distinguish from other viral infections, malaria, typhoid, Ebola, as you have already said, so, um, and it's fami family of Ebola virus. So um, highly, highly contagious, and it spread through uh, bodily fluids. And I think um, also to understand the incubation period is anything between two to 21 days since you've been infected that you can start with symptoms in the meantime. You can um, also, you know, spreading the, the disease to mm -hmm. other people close to you. So um, it, it's, it's really a problem, especially the diarrhea. If you, if you start with the diarrhea and the vomiting um, and, and, and you as a doctor or a nurse or a family member work with this patient, mm -hmm. um, you have to be very extremely, extremely cautious not to get infected. Wow. And we're seeing a similar pattern here. Um in these viruses like Ebola and Marburg, bats, they all have something to do with bats. Why are it most, if not all, of these viruses connected to these animals? I think the bat is a, is a very natural host um, to some of these viruses. Remember, the bat doesn't get infected. So, um, so the bat, in the end of the day, becomes a good host to these type of viral infections that we are currently seeing. And, you know, your coronavirus um, family I love, um, you know, the bats. And as you have already said, from the bats, it goes to the monkeys. We have seen it, uh, even monkeypox. That's where the name is coming from. Uh, so we have to be careful how we um, handle uh, these animals, um, especially in, 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 middle, in, in the middle of Africa. And the current um, people in Europe that also um, has been shown with Marlboro recently uh, got it from uh, visiting Africa and brought it in back into the country. It originally started in Europe and then predominantly for the past 40 years it was in um, Africa. Mm -hmm. And now we are seeing um, a, a new trend with these viruses. And it's been around for decades, if I'm not mistaken, but there's no treatment or vaccine yet. Why is that? Yeah. I think it's difficult um, the, to, to, not so difficult to develop the vaccine, but because it was not a pandemic yet, with lots of people being infected at one stage, as we have seen with the coronaviruses, um, there is, you know, people t tend to look at the, the cost involved in starting and trying to get uh, vaccines developed versus the amount of people that's going to use it in the end of the day. Um, I think it, as it becomes more of a problem in the rest of, um, especially the first world countries, that's when we are going to see vaccines coming on the market. Um, normally in Africa, we don't see a lot of vaccines developed for specifically problems um, originated in Africa, except if that um, spread over or spill over to, to the first world countries. Right. Unfortunately, that's uh, our reality. Dr. Angelique Curtsy, thank you so much for joining us here on the News Hour. It's always a pleasure speaking to you.